right, quick season update. We're at round five here in Boise, Idaho. Got the van back, got an accident on the way here, so that got worked on, so we're back in the groove, and uh, I wanna carry that positive momentum into the night. Been kind of bouncing around from like eighth, I got it one sixth, eighth, twelfth, ninth, eleventh. I'm ready to kind of move the needle a little bit here. I'm coming in feeling a little bit more aggressive. I wanna advance the ball, hoping for a top five, pushing for a top five, looking for a top five. We're ready to go. It's a cold one here, so we got a tarp blocking the incoming wind and a little heater buddy. Nice cozy little pit, which is nice. Three fifties ready to go. I got the crew, Nick and Melissa. We're all, all of our game faces are on and we're ready to roll this bitch in. Let's go. Practice is over. Track's good. We got good dirt and a couple techie little sections. We got some skinny lines. We got a moon booter that I didn't hit. I wasn't feeling it. And then Colton hit the tire next to the moon booter. So I don't know. There's like one other thing that I want to pick apart a little bit. But for the most part, I got the track mostly figured out. And now it's just time to execute, apply, and let this peacock fly. Big night, big night, started off strong. Had an okay hot lap, second row start in the first moto. Had a decent jump and then was able to sneak in some inside of guys on the, in the first turn and had a great train going. I was right behind Cooper, it was just like practice and we just, we ran it in. P8 got third, I got fourth in the first moto, which is my best moto all year. And kind of like following suit with what I, my goals was this race, top five. And um, so I had a little bit of momentum and then obviously fourth to last gate pick in the second moto. And I was riding pretty good. I reckon I was in eighth and then I made a mistake in the matrix, got sideways, I took me and Ty Collins out got going again ended up 10th in the second moto so i was like ah what are you gonna do i'll i'll, I'll bring it back in this third one you know because i didn't want to let that opportunity go getting that fourth place was a big opportunity for me to make up some points and everything else so i was excited to kind of capitalize on that i went out there in the third moto and i just made one too many mistakes man and i got sideways over this culvert uh jump thing one time and boom, and then like put my foot out and boom land at the bottom luckily i'm all right um hurt my foot a little bit but nothing serious at all and um the flyer on the other side wasn't waving the flags i was like wave the fucking flag dude let's go because i couldn't pick my bike up because there's other riders coming over running my bike over it was crazy i'm like dude if i go in there to pick up my bike dude i'm just gonna get plowed in the ribs and i ain't doing that so i just had to wait until guys went by me and once i 
was able to get my bike back up and going again it was like all right let's just salvage what we can and just charge forward and um made a couple small little errors after that but i still charged forward as best as i could and overall i, I reckon i went 4 10 11 for the motos i'm a, I'm a little disappointed in myself i kind of gave up an opportunity there with getting that strong fourth place in the first moto um so yeah that's that's really all that i can say i mean there's definitely some lesson learned I kind of let the moment get the better of me, I think. Even though I felt like I was there, I felt like I had it tonight. But man, it seemed like the pace just kept getting faster and faster all night. So at the end of the day, we're all in one piece. We'll shoot for a top five in Reno and keep on keeping on.